fabulous and I hope you are having amazing 2020 so far and let's get into this topic today you shouldn't give up on your dream just because you didn't accomplish a goal okay I know people love what like when they get through with things easy like everything is just going like clockwork but girl that ain't life life has been giving us lemons from since 1990 dawn of time so we gotta figure out how to make this lemon juice at least bittersweet for us okay do not take that loss as you know just complete failure and give up don't take that L as a loss don't take it as a failure don't just give up and say you know fuck it I'm done it don't make any sense sometimes your blessing is just right around the corner and you just give up all you had to do was push on a little further to make it to that point but you would never know what you could have accomplished because you gave up sometimes it's just a little time for you to reevaluate yourself and just go back to the drawing board and do something different okay because not everybody's journey is the same you looking at somebody else's accomplishments and somebody else you know journey and comparing it to yours and thinking you're going to accomplish the same thing in the same speed it's not gonna work it's just gonna upset you it's gonna make you feel discouraged if you are not on the same point as that same person in the same position you're just gonna upset yourself okay just go back to the drawing board think it over come up with a new strategy a new plan and go after your dream because nobody nobody ain't gonna hand you nothing in life okay just like I wanted to study interior design you know for college or for university and I went out on faith. I signed up for a school. I got accepted. I applied for a government scholarship. Bitch, do you people tell me interior design is important in my country? I'm like, okay, buddy. I thought if your your revenue and your your country's income is based on tourism that interior design architecture is important things to that to that industry i said okay whatever y'all just short-sighted because anytime you need an interior designer they're importing a white foreigner to do it so that ain't make no sense to me when you could have had somebody on staff who know what they're doing but okay whatever whatever but you know what? I took it so hard because I was young. I was young. But like as I started to get older, you know, I'm saying, you know what? I'm not going to take it as a loss. I'm not going to take it as a failure. I'm going to try, you know, to get it done myself. I'm going to do other things, get other income so i can build up you know my my wealth and then i'll do something with interior design i'll do something with real estate i'll do something later on in the future because like when i started up this youtube channel it was mlf decor but like you know since i don't really have that much you know revenue to really be doing house re renovations and like buying a lot of interior de decor and stuff like that you know I kind of put that on the back burner until you know I started to really make money but I will do something with it in the future I'm going to go back to the drawing board and see what I can do I'm not going to take it as a loss 
that's what I'm interested in that's what I want to do so guys if you know if if a dream is what you really want go after it even if you gotta fail a million times maybe the millionth and one time will be your success because look at all of these big companies all of these wealthy business people these wealthy companies they had so many failures and they wouldn't be the companies they are today if they gave up so you do not give up on yourself keep keep going your blessing is just right around the corner have faith in yourself have faith in the plan and keep going keep making life fabulous and i will see you in the next video guys and i hope you can tell me that you are keep making life fabulous you keep at your dreams you keep going honey and you making this year positive Anyways, bye.